Hey guys, welcome back. It's December and I have lots of content planned around the fine liners. This month I really wanted to take the time out and show you all the different things that you can do. I actually put up this reel up on my Instagram and asked you guys which look would you want me to do a tutorial on first and a lot of you said the rainbow look and it kind of makes sense, right? Get to see all of the colors in action and also see how to blend them around and um, I really wanted to take the time out to talk about the brand, why I started it and everything. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. Uh, so I'm going to start with like the red on the inner corner. I'm so sorry about the noise. Uh, there's some construction work happening outside my house and uh, around this time of the day it gets really loud. Um, so all you need is a little bit of like clean water. I'm just going to dip my brush in it. Um, this is a Morphe brush but I'm actually going to link um, a really inexpensive nail art brush set that I use personally. Um, I'm going to link that down below. Okay, so I'm going to start with red. This is Destroy. Um, I really wanted a red, like a nice, deep, vibrant red in my collection. You can play around with the opacity and how pigmented you want it. So, I'm just going to apply it right here, like so. Not too much because there are a lot of colors to be covered. We can always go back and apply more. So I always like to start small. So the reason why I started my brand was because I had this thing with colors and I realized that it was actually really hard to find good colorful pigments that are easily available. It all started with the color white, to be honest. I could not find a good white liner anywhere. I looked it up every single place. I just could not find a good white liner. And that's how like the journey began. And that's when I started like looking for places that actually did this. No one really understood what I wanted to do because they don't really manufacture this here in India. Every other water activated liner you see is made in China. I obviously didn't want to do that. Anyway, so we're done with the red. I'm going to go with the orange. I'm going to use D-Strap. It's one of our most vibrant oranges uh, with a little bit of golden undertone. It's actually really pretty if you see it in person. I'm going to use the same brush and then I've just wet it and now I'm just going to apply it next to the red. Yeah, so that's how it began. I wanted something that was made in India. I discussed the formulation. I think that was like the longest back and forth. It's like, can you do white liners? What other colors do you have? What pigments do you have? Are they natural? And yeah, so that's that's literally where the process began. It all started with my search for white eyeliner. Just before it sets, you can just go ahead and smudge out the ends just so that it looks a little bit more lived in. Oh man, people have been doing such amazing looks with the products. I'm gonna share some of my favorites right here on the screen. Now I'm just going to use the clean water to clean the brush just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my yellow. Um, it's a beautiful yellow. I really like this. This yellow was also really hard to kind of perfect. Uh, took us a lot of time to get to a shade of yellow. We were really confused if we should keep like a pastel yellow or a yellow that was more mustardy. And I personally love like mustardy yellow. So that's what we ended up going with. And you can always mix this up with my white to make it lighter. So I'm going to apply the yellow right on top of where we applied the orange. The yellow is also pretty pigmented. And then using a clean brush, I am going to just blend the edges real quickly. I'm going to blend only the inside edge because we are going to apply another color this side, right? So I only need to blend this side. Because these are powder based, it really helps in like blending the colors together. Once it sets, it's the, the dry powder is like really easy to kind of blend and everything. 
which is very important for me to have something like that that you can use in like in a lot of different ways um, the other water activated pigments I've tried are all cream based um, so once it's set it just sets this is like right in between it completely drying and being wet so that's like the perfect time to kind of blend it all out it's time for green and demonetize I just have like a soft spot for this color it's one of my favorite favorite colors um, I have a spot for, I have a soft spot for uh, dehydrate and demonetize they are very they're like my favorites so I'm gonna take demonetize and just like we did with the yellow I'm just going to apply it right there and now I'm just going to smudge the green and the yellow together let's go with the blue next this is dehydrate and I'm just going to apply it on top of where the green was Now this blue is slightly lighter so I'm going to mix it with Demon Blues so it gives like the perfect shade of blue. Just going to add that. It's literally like painting with watercolors. It's actually really satisfying. Yeah, so then once all of the colors were kind of decided, uh, it was really hard for me to like kind of cut things down. So I knew I wanted like neons. So we worked really, really hard on the neons and like tested it and tested it. Make sure that it's really, really creamy. Now let's move on to the last shade, which is purple. This is Dilemma. Also, another thing while I found out while formulating all of this that how different pigments work differently like it's so difficult to kind of um, get like the same sort of consistency over with all the colors like right now you don't really notice dilemma when it's wet but you wait for it to dry and then you see the color just become so vibrant I'm drawing it in the shape of a ring liner on the outside and at first I was like so not impressed I'm like what's happening why doesn't it show up when it's wet but then you just have to wait for this one to dry and it's worth it because this purple is so beautiful we're almost there I'm gonna do the exact same thing on my lower lash line and come back so we're done with the rainbow look I'm just going to draw a winged eyeliner using detoxify it's our jet black I'm just gonna draw like a regular winged liner using it at first I was like should I even introduce like a black in the market because there are black liners available and really good ones and what makes this one stand out is that you can actually mix this with any of the color and create whatever version of black you like and another thing that I really like about detoxify is how easy it is to clean done with the wing liner in this eye I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye now next I am gonna finish the look up using mascara we are done with the rainbow on the eyes I really like the way it turned out and I feel like mascara is just gonna seal the deal today I'm gonna try the Pat McGrath one for the first time I am so sorry about the noise outside there's like so much traffic uh, never tried this so hopefully this looks nice I have been so excited to try this I got this from Cosme Cosmetics it's like an Instagram store I did a full haul on my IGTV the wand is very similar to the L'Oreal one lipstick I'm using this lipstick from Lacme it's called elegant pink such a nice sort of like everyday pink I really like it so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoy December and I cannot wait to share more content with you guys. I know I spoke a lot about the white 
liner so I'm gonna use the white liner in my next tutorial maybe do the Ariana Grande inspired graphic liner um, so yeah that's about it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can also check out my liners and get them for yourself I would love to see your recreation and that's it for today's video thank you so much and I'll see you very soon bye